All right, welcome back in here for the second basketball game here. Again, the number one seed against the number eight seed. Coach, what you say? But it, I think this is a very interesting matchup. You got Texas Southern who has a uh, winning DNA, even though this year, because due to injuries, uh, you know they they struggled coming down the uh, at the beginning of the conference season. They, they hit their stride late in the year, and then of course you got Alcorn, one of the teams that was picked to win the, the league. Uh, they're playing rather well at this point, but I do have one concern. Dominique Bruton, who was first team and one of their top scorers, is not in that starting lineup. So I'm wondering what that what what what, what that is about. Uh, he's, he's hurt. He got a bad foot. Okay, so they they play Aaron. Yeah, but he he first team All Conference. So just Josh, you said this is going to be you said one of the best ball games of the night. Oh, uh, this is going to be one of the best ball games. In this whole entire series, this one here gonna be a good one. I was talking to Chad earlier. Chad said Texas is gonna win East. <laughs> That's what he said. I said, man, you underestimating Alcorn. He said, we we ain't thinking about Alcorn. Nickel jumping up for uh, three Tigers, uh, Texas Southern, and jumping up for Alcorn is uh, done through my quarter. Alcorn in the white, Texas Southern in maroon. Ball tap controlled by Texas Southern. Walker gets it. Gives it to P.J. Henya. Boy, he's tough. Yes, he Henya across the timeline. Brings it right yes, to the floor. Yes. Comes right up the floor to the Rangers. Rangers to Walker. Out to P.J. Henya. To Nicholas. Nicholas right out of the floor. Barnes. Barnes. Nicholas. Nicholas across the floor. Nicholas to Granger. To Nicholas. Trying to get inside. To the rack. Is up. Partial block from behind. And caught by Kendall. Kendall blocked it. Ain't him catching it. Back on the floor, Joshua feeds the right side of the floor. Out of bounds. And out of bounds. Nineteen twenty five to play. Both teams came out are, are out in man to man and they're playing press and defense. Down the floor here, PJ Henry for Texas Seven. Out to Walker. Back to Henry. Swing the right side of the floor. Granger. Granger to Walker. Walker looking for help. Outside, Granger again to Henry. Down inside, Nicholas bagging in. Shadows up. No, gets him back again. Put it back up again for two. Nicholas with the bracket. It is rough under that basket. That's a man's game in the, in the lane. It is that. It is Joshua out top. 15 foot floater for Joshua, not there for, Gre- for Alcorn. And here's Granger back at the floor in a hurry for Texas Southern. Inside, Walker for the shot. Walker And how the, the difference in the game may be, it may come to the, the bench player. Because uh, both teams got some good players over there on the bench that don't start. They can really come in and give you a shot in the arm. Here's what Joshua. Joshua, left side of the floor. Change it back out top. Long range jumper by Thorn. Two for three. Thorn with that bucket. And four, three. Texas Southern leading with the ball. Henry brings it right side of the floor. Henry to Granger. Outside Walker. Walker. Left side of the floor. Henry inside to Walker. Offensive foul on Walker. Yeah, his teammate has to help him with that one. If his teammate hadn't passed him the ball, that would not have been a foul. But because he passed him the ball, he was right there. Got you. Yep. Praise back at the floor, dressed in white. Texas Southern in my room. Here's Josh across the stripe. Sends it outside. Down in the side. Oh, wow, that's a push. Okay, they got it. <clears throat> I told you that it, you you got to be a man to play inside in this game. Nicholas with that foul. Yeah, first his, him. his first foul. Yeah, the fainting heart would not work well in this game. No, don't want to be out there. Joshua throws it in in the corner, jump shot, not there by Thorn. Rebound, Texas Southern, 17-28 to play. Tigers leading by one, four to three. 
early in the ball game. He's P.J. Henry, picked up by Josh Rostein, goes to the left side of the floor, short pass, gets it back from Thorne. Nope. Thought it was going to be stolen by Alcorn and knocked out of bounds last touch by Texas Southern. Right. Granger, Granger lost the ball, and he recovered and took it away from him and knocked it out of bounds. Good hustle. Alcorn basketball, baseline left side of the backboard. The trigger the inbound pass. Throws it in to McCorder. McCorder, Falcorn, moves in on Walker. Off the glass of two. His first two points in the ball game. Alcorn by one. Five to four. 16-57 to play. It's P.J. Henry. Throws it up inside. It's an air ball. Walker throws it back in to P.J. Henry. He pulls up with a jump shot this time. Not there. Inside, Nicholas. Going to lose the ball. Alcorn with it. Here's Josh. Up the floor front court for Alcorn. Throws it right side. Trying to go to Kendall. Ball knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Barnes of Texas Southern. So it's just physical out there tonight? Uh, very physical. And, and I guess that's the way they like it. Well, here comes my man Bruce into the game. Yeah, when, when Alcorn go to the bench, they don't tab off none. It may even get stronger. He's a Joshua for Alcorn. Montgomery, one of the players you're talking about, that sophomore from Jackson. Oh, yeah. He, he tough as nail. Here's Joshua out top of the door behind the screen by Kendall. Drives inside in traffic. Bruce pick it up. It's good. He was fouled. One thing about Alcorn, they're not afraid of no contact. They're going to keep coming and going to keep coming. And then foul is called on Walker. <clears throat> Walker has his second foul here. All right, I, I think these, these two teams don't like each other. They're very physical out there on the floor. I, I noticed that when uh, I don't know if, when Texas Southern being introduced, they kind of come down and touch other coach hand. They right. didn't. They did right. That's what I'm no. saying. No, they ain't got no love for each other. They want to beat each other. Sure. Score is eight four. All court leader. Granger with it. Barnes. Back out top, spinning his Nicholas to Granger. Granger on the door behind the screen outside by Nicholas. Picked up by Marshall. Outside, jump shot Barnes for two. Good ball movement that time for Texas Sub. Two point ball game. All coin leading. Across the timeline. All coin. Joshua between the circles. Picked up by Henry. Trying to get inside, shatters up, not there. Rebound by P.J. Henry for Texas Southern, the guard down the floor. Trying to get inside, P.J. left side of the floor. Shot is blocked, though. Put up by Craig. I'm not a charge. Right. It's physical. <clears throat> and you know what, Lee? <clears throat> One of the things that might, we might be seeing here, Alcorn won both meetings this year, 79, 74, and overtime that they did it out in Texas. But that was in early January when Texas Southern was not at full strength. Now, at full strength, Alcorn beat them 89, 81 on the reservation yeah. in February, late February. So I think, uh, and then when you add what happened last year down here in the tournament, I think that's why these, both of these teams are are going after each other so hard. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, Alcorn didn't just beat Texas. Uh, they dominated them at the reservation. I mean, they just put it on them. They didn't care nothing about them. I, I watched that game from start to finish, and it was Alcorn and more Alcorn. And, and they said, Texas, uh, y'all finna see a whole lot of us. And that's what they did. They really put it on. They, they sent a message to them that day. Eight six score here, fifteen twenty four to play in <laughs> the first half. All going up by two. Risk to the side. We'll come back. Matter of fact, we'll see right here and let you know about early the game today. Arkansas Clown Bluff women over Alabama A and M in their opening game with Smack Channel here in Birmingham. In the men's game, it was Grambling beat Bethune Cookman. 
And then the women game and pulled this one. It was Jackson State pulled the Gremlin in a good ball game. And then the nightcap here, it is all for him. First one, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. Eight four score here. Listen, listen to the open mic broadcast. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I was getting mad. I'm twice this year. That's all right. Was Bruton ever a starter for Alcorn? Yes. He was the starter at one right. point. He broke, they t- uh, he broke his neck. Mm-hmm. And uh, he hadn't started since then. Oh, and he was the leading scorer. They lead in everything. He had right. one purpose shoe on yeah. and one goal shoe on. Right, he's uh, still first team all call. Joshua to Bruton. Bruton trying to get inside. He does. Lays up a two. Does Bruton. He has four points in the ball game. Off the bench. Oh, he tough and nail now. Ten six score. All corner lead. Here's Texas Southern on the right wing. Here's Granger. Granger sends it outside. Barnes. Left side, P.J. Henry. Guarded by Joshua. Henry on the left wing. Trying to get inside. Leaves right side to Nicholas. Inside. Scored yeah, for Granger. Granger with the bucket. His first two points in the ball game. In a two point contest. All going up by 2 10 to 8. 14 34 to play in the first half. He's Marshall. Marshall to Bruton. Bruton. Dribbles to the right side. Had the purple headband on. And here's the shot. Good for Bruton. Yeah, I tell you, he's tough and nail him now. Right. Two points in the ball game. All caught up by four, 12 to eight. 14 to 10 to play. In the first half. Right side, Granger. Granger puts it on the floor. Outside to Barnes, top of the circle. Four side, P.J. Henry guarded by Joshua. Here's Nichols again. And Henry right. tough and nail too. Here's a jump shot outside. Not there by Granger going out for the rebounds. Montgomery, the sophomore from Jackson, takes it out top, stabbing, bags away. Turn, gives it to Joshua, the point guard. Byron Joshua, 5'11", sophomore from New, New Orleans, on the left wing. Trying to get inside, looking, Not looking, throws it outside. Here's Marshall. Correction, Bruton with the jump shot, not there. Three-point attempt. Take down. It's a take down in the lane. Mar- who, who took who down, coach, in the lane? They count, I don't take so. Marshall, they got Kangal up. Yeah, they're going to review that one. Chris Craig. Marshall's throw to get up. Yeah, the officials going to review this one. Okay, they showed it. They're going to, maybe they'll show it again. They showed it earlier on the screen. And we'll see what took place. So we have a 12 8 score with all coin leading here in the ball game. The officials are going to conference right there on the floor. Now, they come look at it over here. Maybe they'll show it again on the screen here. We'll see what possibly happened. They showed it earlier. He's not showing it right now. 13 minutes and 21 seconds to play first half. With the score, all corn 12, Texas Southern 8. In the final game of the night, back again tomorrow at 11 for more basketball action. And that 11 uh, o'clock going to come quick, sir. It's going to come quick. Oh, oh it is, no oh, doubt. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it is now. It, it doesn't play around. <laughs> it's going to come. Okay. Two. Reviewed it. Get them the third one. Coach, what are you looking for, Coach? Well, they want to make sure that they're all seeing the same thing. And that, no, you know, there's a, there's a new rule out there. If you, if you bring your arm down on your opponent mm-hmm. and hold him, mm-hmm. that, that's a flagrant foul. Okay. Right. So they want to make sure that they get this right. They're taking it out again. We don't have the luxury. They played it once. We're still adding that, trying to see if they're going to shoot back again. They're going to come play back again here.
They come over. Going to call a foul on Texas Southern Texas. Chris Creek. Yeah. It's Chris Bushman. Oh, six seven got five team fouls already. Alcorn don't have it. And Alcorn will get the basketball baseline right out of the backboard here. This is the number one, number eight, but you won't be able to tell that. Jason on the right side. Joshua came out on the ball, throws it in the right corner. This blue inside power shot by Brew not there. Wow, I'm surprised he didn't get the foul then. Rebound down the floor, take us up in the right corner. Barnes. Barnes gives it to Mortal. Mortal inside blocked and a foul is called. Was that Montgomery for the foul, I believe? Nope. nope. Nicholas with the foul. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm Montgomery. Confused here. The yeah. other team, Montgomery with the foul. Right. His first foul. Two shots. 13.03 to play. Two shots to Mortal. He drew that ball to the inside. He's only a 50% free throw shooter. And that's why he's good. First one is up. The curious Mortal, the 6 2. 199-pound freshman from Alexandria, Louisiana. Back for the second shot. It's good, too. Mortal, two for two the strike. <clears throat> he didn't shoot those like he shot only, only shot 50% for the season. Big game, Coach. 13 score. All corner lead back, two. He's Montgomery out top. Moves to the right side of the floor. Checked outside by Farouk. Here's Brew. Bruton got by Mortal outside Montgomery, trying to get around Mortal. Jump stop, bounce pass inside Brew, featuring the left corner. Long run shot by Wilson, not there. Uh, that's Walker, rather, not there. Euro, well, picked up by Montgomery. Here's your play that time. Oh, yes. Back on the floor, Alcorn, Wade. He is Montgomery with his first shot, not there. Rebound grab. Nicholas for Alcorn. Uh, uh, Texas Southern on the board. Two point ball game. Three to ten with twelve twelve to play in the first half. Jump shot. P.J. Henry not there. Rebound Montgomery for all corn. To war, or uh, should I say Wade? Wade bags away with the left hand dribble. Watched outside by P.J. Henry. Two point ball game. All corn leading. Here's Wade. Leaves the left side of the floor. Here's Kendall. Kendall spin back and in. Hook shot over Nicholas Knight there. The rebound. Kick this southern. Farouk down the floor. Inside, Kendall with the foul. Farouk will get to the foul line. Make that ball to the foul line for a couple of free throws. Well, it's nothing easy out there tonight, boy. You've got, you earn every basket tonight, boy. They're bringing the wheel. They're bringing the hammer. Coach, how much wear care does it put on your terms of getting you fatigued? throughout the ball game. That could have been physical like that. Well, I, I think tonight, because of the way they're going at each other, they're not going to get tired. You know, because the other thing, too, now both coaches are subbing real good. So, we're going to, we in for a long night. Yes, because no, they're going to bounce. Both, both teams got long benches. So, it ain't no such thing, no tired tonight. Right. You you got to play to win. You worry about that tire stuff next year. 11.36 to play. In the first half, 12 10 score, all coin leading Texas Southern. We break, we come back. Strike basketball on the open mic broadcast network. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. We are located in Prairie View, Texas, where we are dedicated to serving the local community with sporting events, church services, and information. You're invited to tune in and to join us each Sunday morning for Temple of Refuge Ministries live broadcast, Building the Kingdom One Soul at a Time, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Time. 
each Monday through Friday. Tune in to hear the Mike Prince Show as he covers the world of HBCU sports and beyond. This show has been the driving force for daily information when it comes to HBCU athletics. And tune in to listen to the Swag Zone each Saturday morning. The Open Mic Broadcast Network covers Little League, high school, and college athletics. We also broadcast local community parades and events. And you can check us out on YouTube for our latest content. If you would like to help us support our broadcast, you may do so by making a donation at www.obnradio.com. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. Eleven minutes, thirty-six seconds to play in the first half. Three of Kings go all corn leading. And Texas stepping to the foul line to shoot free throws. Here's Barnes. Barnes has two points in the ball game. Free throws up now. It's good. He's pretty good from the line. He, he shot it at seventy-eight percent during the season. And he's shooting for point number four here is Barnes. In the basket throwing right. One sock pulled way up on his leg, the other one is down. That's a good half hour game with 11 33 to play in the first half. His Brew now top. Brew walking, comes up with the 16 foot jump shot, not there. Rebound and a foul call, first of all, yep. on Alcorn artist Walker. Bad foul, yeah. Yeah, now if this is a close game, Texas Southern shoots 65% from the free throw line. Alcorn shoots 72%. Good shooting by Alcorn from the foul line. Wow. Yep. His bonds. Actually, that's... Montreal, a mortar rather, trying to get inside his barns, he blocks, but it's up the fingertips of Bruton of Alcorn, so it takes this other to keep the basketball, and they're inbound at baseline, left side of the backboard. Tie ball game at 12 apiece, quick pass in the corner, now I'm down inside, Nicholas puts it up, not there, rebound Montgomery for Alcorn. Got that one blocked out of there. Up the floor, Wade. Wade trying to get inside, spinning. Trying to get it to my quarter, but he wasn't ready for it. And Texas Southern with the ball back down the floor. A leading shot off the glass. Won't go. By Mortar back down the floor. Wade with the shot. It's good. He was fouled. Yeah, both these teams got some athletes on these on these two teams. Joshua. Now it's Walker. And Wade is one of the better free throw shooters. He comes in at seventy four percent. The foul line for the first time. Missed it. Couldn't get that one. He has two points in the ball game. Wow. Texas Southern with the ball. Coming across the timeline is Artist Walker for Texas Southern. All going up by 2, 14 to 12, 10, 23 to play. Walker with it out top. Sweep the right side of the floor. Comes to now back out top again to Barnes. Barnes spins. Barnes steps back with the jump shot right side, not there. Rebound Joshua. Joshua all going with the ball to the floor front court. Joshua stays on the right wing. Watch outside from a distance by Gillum. Here's Bruton. Bruton working one-on-one. In the paint now. Puts it up. Not fair. Rebounds. Texas Southern. Gillum across the timeline. Good hesitation. Gillum had it out top straight away. Feeds back right side of the floor. To Mortal, not there. Nicholas right there to put back. Jonathan Nicholas has four points in the ball game. 
14-14 score. Alcorn with the ball right side. Joshua behind the screen outside. Down the quarter. Joshua left wings. Pounds the ball against the floor in the dribble. Sliding back to his right. Watched it from a distance by Nicholas. Now in his shoe. Now in the fighter play. Joshua inside on Nicholas. Whoa. And he's foul. So two shots coming up. Referee says he tripped him. He did. That's what he said. Nicholas, he was picking the second foul. The second foul. Fourteen fourteen score. This is Joshua. Seventeen foul against Texas Southern. Three team foul against Alcorn. And the first shot was good. But Joshua gets another shot. Get one more. Trying to put his team up by two again. The sophomore from New Orleans step back to the strike. Take this time. This Good. shot. Josh, the first two points in the ball game. All caught up back to Texas other PJ in the front court. Yeah, he is a foul. Try to call on the lead. His first personal foul. 14 fouls. 14 fouls. Texas Southern, 17 fouls. All corner, 14 fouls. He's Henry. Very going to walk this ball. Henry, rather, walk this ball up the floor on the way. Henry out top with the dribble. Working one on one. Had a knock away. Montgomery with it for all corn. He's on the floor in a hurry. Lays it up inside. Missed a shot on difficult wow. layup. Right. He, made, he made that layup more difficult than it should have been. Okay. Down inside, reverse shot. Score that one for Farouk. Farouk, first two points in the ball game. And we're tied at 16 apiece. Here's Joshua Alcorn outside Montgomery. Montgomery shooter out there. That time he didn't. Joshua fired to the three. Not there. Rebound. Texas Southern on the board from left to right. Mortal. Sends across the floor. P.J. Henry. Henry throws back to his right side with the dribble. Tape on his right wrist. Leads the ball outside. They got a weave going here. Here's Gillum. Gillum jump pass right side. Now on dying inside from Nicholas. He turns and lost the ball out of bounds. But he knocked out of bounds by Alcorn. Same out. Six seven, sixteen. Alcorn, 16. For seven minutes and 51 seconds left to go in the first half. 16, 16. Right, and, and this game is tied because Texas Southern's done a great job on, on the glass. They're leading the rebound 18 and 9, and six of them are on the offensive glass. Okay. So Texas Southern's done a great job of uh, rebounding the basketball. Okay. 7.51 to play in the first half, 16 16 score. We have break and come back, slack basketball on uh, the open mic broadcast network. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. We are located in Prairie View, Texas, where we are dedicated to serving the local community with sporting events, church services, and information. You are invited to tune in and to join us each Sunday morning for Temple of Refuge Ministries live broadcast, Building the Kingdom One Soul at a Time, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Time. Each Monday through Friday, tune in to hear the Mike Prince Show as he comes to the world of HBCU sports and beyond. This show has been the driving force for daily information when it comes to HBCU athletics. And tune in to listen to the Swag Zone each Saturday morning. The Open Mic Broadcast Network covers Little League, high school, and college athletics. We also broadcast local community parades and events. And you can check us out on YouTube for our latest content. If you would like to help us support our broadcast, you may do so by making a donation at www.obnradio.com. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. And welcome back. Seven minutes, 51 seconds to play. First half action here tonight. We're all not up at 16 apiece. All corn, 
16, Texas Southern, 16, 7 to 51 to play. Early today in other action, women's back. Arkansas Pine Bluff over Alabama A&M. Gremlin State men over the student Cookman and Jackson State women over Gremlin. And in the nightcap is Alcorn against Texas Southern. Men. Alcorn in their white uniforms, Texas Southern in their maroon uniforms. The Tigers came out in the basketball baseline left side. The trick of the ball inbounds is Gillum. Gillum looking in. Gillum lobs it out top. Mortal catches it out top. Get inside. Blocked out of there by Marshall was Mortal. Back at the floor. In the left corner. Leaning in. That shot won't go for Walker. That got in the front of the hurry. P.J. Henry outside. Motor for the three-point attempt. Not there. Marshall clears the board for Alcorn. 16-16 score. Right side Walker. Outside Joshua. Watch by P.J. Henry. Getting his instruction from Coach Bussey. Joshua. Turns the ball against the floor. Bags away, stays with the dribble, gets away from uh, P.J. Henry. Marshall now with the screen. In the left corner, here's Walker going baseline, shoots the ball away, clock running down, not there, the ball's going to go out of bounds. Right, right now, both teams are not shooting the ball well. Texas Southern shooting 28%, all points only shooting 30% from the floor. And Texas Southern is 0 for 4 from the 3, so they might want to give up on that for this half. And continue to try to pile the ball inside. Alcorn with a little full court pressure here. P.J. Henry working up the floor against Wade. Going from our left to our right. Wade, a little hand checking on him. Cam to the right side of the floor. Throws it at the foul line for Rook. Sends it outside. Shot won't fall for Gillum. Ball knocked around. Takes it something with it. Puts back up inside. But it's blocked out of there. Yep. The quarter blocked that one and got it out of there. Yes, sir. Marshall going to check it back into the basketball game. And there's Marshall, also from Jackson, Mississippi. All going in down the ball. Into Mortal, Mortal to PJ Henry. Henry between the circles with the right hand dribble. Working one on one. Trying to get inside, but it can't. Good defense that time by Thorne. Jump shot. Not there for Henry. Rebound. With a 16 16 score, all going down the floor. Here's a jump shot. Thorne, not there. The ball comes off and a foul is called. Boy, it is rough in that paint, man. It really is. It is. <laughs> Fifteen foul against Alcorn. Yeah, you better check. You got better make sure you got your, your health insurance when you're down in that paint. Mm. Yeah, that that foul is called on the uh, quarter. His first personal foul. Seventeen fouls on Texas Southern. Five on Grambling. With six oh two to play with that here. And 16 apiece. Texas Southern, we get the basketball. All going to full court pressure here. Here's Gillum walking up on Joshua. Coming across the oh, offensive foul. Yeah. On Gillum. Yep. Saw the arm extended. Yeah, he did. 18 foul. Montgomery going to check back in for all coins. Marshall will check out. All corn to inbound. First out of the floor. Throwing the trigger and throws it back court. Here's Joshua going to walk the ball across the timeline. 16 16 score. On the right side of the floor, throwing to all corn. Outside to Joshua behind the screen by Montgomery. Looking down inside, nice there. Sends it outside, PJ Henry. He fouled. Yeah. He will be going to the line for a one and one. That's 19th. 
team foul. The curious mortal with that foul. He is first person to foul. And that's going to get all court to the foul line. She was free to those. Kevin Wade at the strike. Wade is a 5'11", 175-pound grad student from Marietta, Georgia. And he missed his other opportunity at the free throw line today. Gotcha. Wade. Correct. He did. He has two points in the ball game. His second trip to the foul line now. Here's a shot. Good. And he gets another. He has three points in the game now and does Devin Wade. Goes back to the strike. So 17-16 score. All corn by one. Trying to go up by two. If Wade can sink the next free throw. He's a left-hander. Good again. Wade, two out of three at the foul line. He has four points in the ball game. P.J. Henry with the ball. All from pressing full court. Rose up the floor. Here comes Farouk. Farouk. Rice out of the floor. All court defending rice out of the floor. Here's Texas Southern Mortal inside the Euro. Send it outside. Top of the circle. Farouk inside. Scored the best. Nice, nice, nice play there. Yeah. LeBron. They ran a good play then. Yeah, well, Alcorn's uh, defense broke down at the end. 18, 18 school. We're still tied here. Check go inside. Joshua lays it up. Nice pass that time. Alcorn Joshua ran a good it. play that time. And Joshua has full points in the ball game. Two free throws in the front court. Mortal. Mortal puts the ball on the floor with the left hand. Sends it across the floor for a side for Rook. Brings it back right wing. Bronze. Here's a jump shot by E.J. Henry with that three point back here. His first field goal to the ball game. That's the first three for all for, for Texas Southern. And a 21 20 score. Texas Southern leading our corn. Jump pass outside. Tiger circle. Wade. Wade is stabbing. Working one on one, Wade. Correction, yeah, Wade. Trying to get inside. Oh, oh that's the wall. Yeah. Walks right. with the basketball. He was determined to get that shot off. Yeah, he was determined to get that one. Yeah. Well, he yeah. had to because the shot clock was running down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. PJ Hearing with the ball. Media came out coming up next to the ball. Hearing for Texas 7 coming up for against Wade. Wade going to back across the timeline. Spins. Stand away. Good defense. Marsh on the switch out there for our corner. Henry fire. with the shot. Right. Foul call on Marshall. Marshall with the foul. His first personal foul. With the score. Take seven, 21. Our corner, 20. With three minutes and 48 seconds to play in the first half. The game is so physical, they're not shooting the basketball well. Both each team is shooting 30% from the floor. Okay. So the physical nature of the game is taken away from the scope. Okay. 21 20 score. Take the southern leading. We break, we come back. It's like basketball on the open mic broadcast network. Stay with us. You're coming back. The Open Mic Broadcast Network would like to take this time to recognize its sponsors and underwriters. Attorney Lee Van Richardson, Brazos Valley Schools Credit Union, Prairie View Athletic Club, Temple of Refuge Ministries, Reflections, Paint, and Bucking Shop, Shepherd Hands Lawn Service, Diva Skin Conditioner, Purple Drip, Daiquiri, and Real. For more information on how you can become an underwriter or a sponsor here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network, our number to call is 822. 812- 213-8824. So the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. Hello, this is Michael Hardy Jr., the president of the Swack Alumni Association. The Swack Alumni Association is an organization founded on December 10, 1999, 
at the Sheraton Hotel in Birmingham, Alabama. This mission is to serve as a rallying ground for individuals who have made the Southwestern Athletic Conference the illustrious conference that it is today. Its membership is open to former student athletes who played in the conference in any sport, as well as to coaches, athletic administrators, staff members, game officials, and fans. Annually, the association holds a Legends Awards and Roast Banquet or Luncheon where it honors individuals with Lifetime Achievement Awards, a Chuck Profit Wagon Master Award, and occasionally a Distinguished Service Award. Proceeds from that event help to finance degree completion scholarships for student athletes who have exhausted their playing eligibility at SWAC universities but who may still need an extra semester or two to complete their college studies. For more information on the SWAC Alumni Association or to get information. That's pretty good. Balls with the bucket that time. Balls has eight points in the ball game. Twenty-three, twenty. Texas Southern leading. That's a good That's good. shot. Montgomery. Looks good. Montgomery with his first field goal. In a tie ball game, at 23 apiece. P.J. here in your front court. Henry stays with the dribble, brings the right side of the floor to Farouk. Farouk sends it across the floor. Gillum is P.J. Henry with the tough jump shot. Not there. He's fouled. Oh, no. P.J. Henry with the foul and shoot. Free throw. Not called on. Shot, was fouled. Yeah. All across, uh, they did not like that call. Kobe Granger is up to come to the ball game for a Texas Southern Kendo up to come to the ball game for Alcorn. And Brute coming back on the floor. Haven't seen him in a while. Right. Hitting his 75 percent free throw shoot over the season. Henry has one more shot. Peach at the foul line for the first time. He has four points in the ball game. Gets it back. Trying to put his finger up by two, and he does. Got it. Good free throw, too. And he both of yeah, those really. just then. 25 23 score, Texas Southern leading. All point with the ball. Here's Joshua coming across the strike. Joshua top of the circle, picks his dribble up to Kendo. Kendo squaring on Barnes. Outside, Joshua spin, up and on the hook shot, score for Kendo. Yeah, Kendo comes in that paint. He is. Kendo with that back to his first two points in the game. 25 25 score, 2 16 to play. Hooks the right side of the floor. Here's Granger to PJ Henry. Trying to get inside for Rook. And we got a pushing foul call. Just out of, oh, bounds. out of bounds. Out of bounds. Yeah, gotcha. Just out of bounds. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Baseline, right out the backboard. 25 25 score. Granger to inbound, throws it in the corner. In the corner to Barnes, a turnover on Alcorn. Montgomery ends up with the basketball for Alcorn. Joshua, he's Montgomery, thought about the shot. Double team. He's rolling the floor, picked up by Mortal. Mortal on the floor, feeds the right side. Here's a shot. Not good this time by Granger, but he was fouled. Right, no layup. They got the no layup room. They're not allowing that layup. You come in there, you're no going to pay the price. You're going to pay the price. Oh, did you have pictures? You must pay the price if you come in there. Two shots coming. Our corner, 18 foul. Two shots foul. No good. Free throw not there that time for Granger. Granger has two points in the ball game. His first trip to the foul now. Trying to shoot his team up, he has an opportunity to do that with one free throw. No good. Rattles out. Rebound right. by Joshua. A minute and 43 to play in the first half here. 25 25 score. Here's Joshua. Fall corn guarded by Mortal. Joshua yo yo's the basketball. Mortal with a little contact. Joshua feeds it on the right corner. Loose ball on the floor. On his back. He's throwing. 
and Marshall down inside. Wow. How you get that ball over to Marshall? And Marshall, that was like a rugby scrum. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Full points of the ball game. For Kendall. 27-25. P.J. Henry on the dribble. Watched by Montgomery. 17 to shoot. Test back for three. Short. Rebound Bruton. Bruton going to work this ball up the floor of front court. Bruton taking Bruton. that one. It's going to be tripped. Yeah, he got fired. Got pushed. Yeah. Yeah, you see the foul line. To shoot. Free throws. The foul call on Barnes. Barnes first. First foul. That's going to get all going to the foul line. All caught up by two points. 27 25 with 50.3 seconds to play. And down the Kent team foul. Right. And Bruton smiling all the way because he know uh, free throw shooting is one of his superb things. He shoots it at an 82% clip. That's way up there. Mm. And of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Bruton. Had six points in the ball game. Couldn't knock that one down. No, he couldn't. Still up to the British team up by three. If he can make this one right now, according to leading 27, 25 with 50.3 seconds to play in the first half here. This is Nick Matthews. Huh? Yeah. Bruce gets it back. Got it. Count their free throw for Bruce. He's coming out. Dominic Bruce is a 6'4. 195 pounds sophomore from Cincinnati, Ohio. As he got one or two free throws to give him five points in the game. Alcorn pressing the press for a court. Trying to get inside for Ruth, for Ruth. Inside Barnes for the lift. Barnes for the lift. And Alcorn by one now, 28 to 27. Just 35.3 seconds to play. Montgomery check back to the ball game for all corn. He's trading offense for defense, defense for offense. Gerard come out of the, out of the ball game. He's all corn. He goes to basketball. Out by the timeline. And yeah, they're going to take it down for that last shot. Oh, yeah. Four seconds difference in the game clock and shot clock. Here's Joshua out top, grabbed by P.J. Henry. Comes to the left side, stops, turn, power shot up inside, not there. Puts the bat in a tip shot for two. Joshua with the tip. And six points in the ball game. That's going to bring the first pass to the close. All going up by three. 30 to 27. Coach, your thoughts on the ball game? Well, it's very physical. I think that has a lot to do with uh, when, you, when you look at the uh, shooting percentages because the game is so physical. Uh, Alcorn shooting 39% from the floor. Texas Southern shooting 34%. And one of the other key things is Texas Southern has seven turnovers, so only four for Alcorn. Joshua? Uh, I, I agree with Coach. And then the next thing is the reason why the uh, the uh, shooting percentage is so low. Both teams playing excellent defense. You ain't getting nothing on them. That's why the that's why the uh, uh, the uh, percentage are low. They can good hand on you every time you shoot. Thirty for Alcorn, twenty-seven for Texas Southern at the half. Swack basketball on the open mic broadcast network. Western Athletic Conference, also known as the SWAC, has become one of the leading sports associations in the world of collegiate athletics today. Founded in 1920 by C.H. Fuller, Red Randolph, C.H. Patterson, C.G. Evans, H.J. Evans, H.J. Starnes, D.C. Fuller, and G. Wood Jordan, the SWAC charter class, the Super Six, kicked off with Bishop College, Paul Quinn College, Prairie A&M, Sam Hudson College, Texas College, and Wiley College. The founders came up with the league during a general meeting to discuss common interests as a grand experiment
programs for historically black colleges and universities, or HBCUs. The SWAC member school has experienced many difficulties in its early years due to the limitations of state funding, but the SWAC never stopped sponsoring competition among its members and student athletes. Though only one of the original members of the SWAC still remains, the SWAC continues to rise in prominence among the best in collegiate sports. The SWAC is one of only two Division I conferences whose current membership is made up of 100% HBCUs. Its current members include the last remaining charter member, Prairie A&M, and others like Southern University, Texas Southern University, Grambling State University, Jackson State University, Alcorn State University, Mississippi Valley State University, Alabama State University, University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Alabama A&M University, Florida A&M University, and Bethune-Cookman University. Championship competition offered by the league currently includes men's competition in baseball, basketball, cross country, football, golf, tennis, and indoor and outdoor track and field. Women's competition is also offered in basketball, bowling, cross country, golf, indoor and outdoor track and field, soccer, softball, tennis, and volleyball. The SWAC continues to solidify its status among elite collegiate competition with notable NCAA tournament appearances in multiple sports. The SWAC is considered one of the premier HBCU conferences in the country and currently ranks among the elite in the nation in terms of HBCU alumni playing with professional sports teams. Notable professional HBCU and SWAC alumni athletes include Walter Payton, Jackie Slater, Jerry Rice, John Stallworth, Steve McNair, Michael Strahan, Titus Howard, Fidel Hart, and many more. The Southwestern Athletic Conference will continue to produce some of the best student athletes to ever touch a field of play. Just as the mission statement states, the Southwestern Athletic Conference is organized for the purpose of encouraging and conducting intercollegiate sport activities for student athletes and promoting academic excellence while representing SMAC member institutions with a high level of integrity and sportsmanship. I've been Morgan Hendricks for the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network is now expanding. If you or someone you know are interested in becoming part of our broadcasting team, have them to get in contact with us at 720-721-1558. It matters not of your experience. It matters not of your location. It matters not of your age, creed, or gender. If you have an ear, voice, or thoughts to share about the South Western Athletic Conference, get in contact with us, 720-721-1558. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. We are the station designed with you in mind, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. We are located in Prairie View, Texas, where we are dedicated to serving the local community with sporting events, church services, and information. You're invited to tune in and to join us each Sunday morning for Temple of Refuge Ministries live broadcast, Building the Kingdom One Soul at a Time, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Time. Each Monday through Friday, tune in to hear the Mike Prince Show as he comes to the world of HBCU sports and beyond. This show has been the driving force for daily information when it comes to HBCU athletics. And tune in to listen to the Swag Zone each Saturday mornings. The Open Mike Broadcast Network covers Little Bay, high school, and college athletics. We also broadcast local community parades and events. And you can check us out on YouTube for our latest content. If you would like to help us support our broadcast, you may do so by making a donation at www.obnradio.com. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002.
Since 2002, the Open Mic Broadcast Network has been providing local and regional coverage for Prairie View A&M University, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, Glenn Junior College, Wharton Junior College, and Waller County, Texas High School Sports. You can support the broadcasting coverage here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network by becoming a listening partner. Simply visit the website, OBN Radio. Dot com. And for as little as 17 cents a day, you can become a listening partner. That website again is obnradio.com, the voice of student athletics, serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. <laughs> to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics, Prairie View, Texas. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network is now expanding. If you or someone you know are interested in becoming part of our broadcasting team, have them to get in contact with us at 720-721-1558. It matters not of your experience. It matters not of your location. It matters not of your age, creed, or gender. If you have an ear, voice, or thoughts to share about the South Western Athletic Conference, get in contact with us, 720-721-1558. Serving the community through faith and athletics. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie Texas. to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics in Philly v. Texas. the opportunity of investing $100 to start your very own broadcasting business that could generate you anywhere from $300 to $3,000 of extra income a month. You take advantage of that opportunity. So if I'm speaking to you, dial 720-721-1555. Thank <laughs> you. 
listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics, Philly V. Texas. Again, set for the second half of play here for the final ball game of the night to bring up to date to where we are right now to get to this ball game. It was in the opening ball game today. It was Arkansas Pam Luck women over Alabama A and M women, and then the main ball game is Grambling State over Bethune Cookman, and then the women game before here it was Jackson State over Grambling, and right now at the half is. 30 to 27 all corn leading. Coach, what teams seem to be doing getting their game to where they want to get it at or need it? I, I, I think Texas Southern should be feeling good about where they are. I, I think the game is being played uh, at their pace and they're in the game. They're only, they're only down by, by three points. All corn with the basketball. Down inside, Kendall with the shot. Not there. Board is cleared by Nicholas. For Texas Southern. Here's P.J. Henry across the timeline front court. Henry. Bounces the ball out top. Barnes, easy, in the corner. Granger for three. In his gear. Granger. Tied up ball game. That's five points in the ball game. 30 30 score. Joshua out high. McCorder. McCorder spending back to Joshua. Joshua trying to get around Henry. And it's time for the layup for two. Joshua. Right. Henry Hill back on that. Eight points in the ball game. Two point lead for Hawkeye. 32 30. 18 56 to play. In the second half, Henry stops his dribble looking for help. Sends it puts out of the floor. Goes to Granger. Granger puts it on the floor. Guard outside by Thorne. Looking down inside. Nicholas to Walker. Shadows up. Getting a little chippy in there. I'm looking at that, Coach. Yeah, getting a little chippy in there. Joshua with the foul. He has two. Walker to the foul line and shoot free throws. Walker has two points in the ball game. First trip to the foul line tonight for Walker. No good. 
And on the season, he shoots it at, at a 67% clip. Walker gets it back. His team is down by two. Yeah. Walker makes one of two to give him three points in the ball game tonight. His all coin Joshua works with the floor. Joshua leaves it to the right, leaves it to the right side, right side to Walker. Back out top. Thorn. Joshua. Got by PJ Henry. Throws a high post. Jump stop inside my quarter. Not there. Rebound Nicholas for Texas Southern. All coin 32, Texas Southern 31. Barnes all the way in for two. Yeah, guys, he got a full head of steam, and, it, and nobody stopped it. They didn't stop the ball out high, and he took it to the basket. Barnes has 12 points in the ball game. 33-32, Texas Southern leading. 17-48 to play, second half. Here's Joshua for all corner on the dribble. Picked up by B.J. P.J. Henry out top. Joe the ball, leaves out high. Out high, Walker, foul call. Down on the inside to officially say something to Kendall. Nicholas with the foul. Now that's a big that's foul. A big yeah. foul. Yeah, that's a big foul. <laughs> Braves basketball baseline right side of the backboard. The Tigers defending. Lobs it in. The quarter. Quarter trying to get in on Walker, turn, hooks it up. Offensive foul. The quarter's charged with the foul. Right, the refs gonna have to get control of this, and, and Texas Southern has to be smarter. Uh, when well, they cannot afford to lose their post players because they're not as deep as all for them. 33, 32, Texas Southern by one. 17, 33. Wing, F two hands by McCarter. McCord with the foul. He has three. And Montgomery coming to the ball game. McCord will check out. It's a 17 minute, 19 second mark. Tigers basketball, baseline left, lobs it off top to Walker the third. He finds it a three, not there. Rebound, all corner on the board was Thorne. Thorne to Joshua. Joshua dribbles. Joshua coming to the right side with the half turn. Picked up by Barnes. Squares on Barnes. Stays with the dribble. Moves back to the right side. Throws it down to Kendall. Kendall spins. Fakes once, twice, puts it up. Not there. Foul call on Walker, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's going to eat him up alive right there. <clears throat> 33, 32 score. All right, that's going to be his third foul. So now, he, he and uh, Nichols have three fouls. They're, they're putting themselves in the bind now. And Kendall, yeah, because last time they played, Kendall had 32 points on Kendall to the foul line. <clears throat> and he gets another throw. Yeah, he killed him in the paint. Here comes the second shot. Alcorn is leading. Kendall, three or four from the foul line. Alcorn is up 34-33. 16 to play. In the ball game. Here in Bartow Arena, Swag Tournament. The final game of the night. Up by one. Puts it down inside. Walker with the shot for two. Good offensive set. And Texas Southern leading by one, 35-34. Joshua High Post. Trying to get inside, puts it up. Not there, rebound Walker for Texas Southern. P.J. Burry comes across the timeline. Uh, P.J. Henry across the timeline. Leads it to Barnes. For side, Granger. Guarded by Walker. Bags away on the dribble, sends it. Back out top again. 
Claus on the dribble. Claus hooks back to the left side. In the corner. Henry for three. Not there. Ball tapped up and all corner with it on the rebound. In the corner. Montgomery fires it for three. Not there. Rebound. Granger for Texas Southern. He's on the floor all the way inside. Walk up the side. He's fouled. Foul on Dillon. That was a great pass. With the timeout, Texas Southern 37, Hall Point 34, with 15 minutes and 34 seconds left to trade in this ball game. The Southwestern Athletic Conference, also known as the SWAC, has become one of the leading sports associations in the world of collegiate athletics today. Founded in 1920 by C.H. Fuller, Red Randolph, C.H. Patterson, E.G. Evans, H.J. Evans, H.J. Starnes, D.C. Fuller, and G. Wood Jordan, the SWAC's charter class, the Super Six, kicked off with Bishop College, Paul Quinn College, Prairie A&M, Sam Hudson College, Texas College, and Wiley College. The founders came up with the league during a general meeting to discuss common interests as a grand experiment for historically black colleges and universities, or HBCUs. The SWAC member school experienced many difficulties in its early years due to the limitations of state funding, but the SWAC never stopped sponsoring competition among its members and student athletes. Though only one of the original members of the SWAC still remains, the SWAC continues to rise in prominence among the best in collegiate sports. The SWAC is one of only two Division I conferences whose current membership is made up of 100% HBCUs. Its current members include the last remaining charter member, Prairie A&M, and others like Southern University, Texas Southern University, Grambling State University, Jackson State University, Alcorn State University, Mississippi Valley State University, Alabama State University, University of Arkansas and Bluff, Alabama A&M University. Florida A&M University and Bethune-Cookman University. Championship competition offered by the league currently includes men's competition in baseball, basketball, cross country, football, golf, tennis, and indoor and outdoor track and field. Women's competition is also offered in basketball, bowling, cross country, golf, indoor and outdoor track and field, soccer, softball, tennis, and volleyball. The SWAC continues to solidify its status among elite collegiate competition with notable NCAA tournament appearances in multiple sports. The SWAC is considered one of the premier HBCU conferences in the country and currently ranks Free throw is good. 38 34. Texas has a four point lead. Here's Alcorn with the basketball. Left wing, Joshua. Out high, Marshall. Back to Joshua, right side of the floor. Joshua, right side, Montgomery. In traffic. They're going to get a jump ball on that one. Good call. Reached in close to the basketball. Arrow, Texas Southern. 38, 34, 15, 08 to play. In the game. Texas Southern by fourth the ball. Here's P.J. Henry. P.J. Henry works up the floor from right to left. Send the force out to Granger. Back out top. Here's Bond. Bond looking inside to Nicholas. Sends it back out of high and stay to Granger. Granger guarded by Montgomery. Top of the circle, going to the right side, trying to get around Montgomery. Jump stop. Blocked by Montgomery, caught by Montgomery. He's all corner to the floor. Right, that was, a, that was a bad shot. Joshua right wing. Steps away. Left hand dribble. Watched by Nicholas. Trying to get in on Nicholas. Shot is up. Not there. Rebound. Granger. Stolen by Montgomery. Here's Bruno on the floor for. Oh, Cohen, we've got to stop the play. Got to reset the shot block. 16. No 26. 
14-19 to play. Here's Bruton. All going down by four. Bruton out top. Holds the basketball. Bruton on the left side of the floor. Shoots from the outside. Not there. Rebound. Texas Southern Granger with it. Front court. Drives inside. Stolen by Joshua. That's three straight turnovers by Granger. Inside. Joshua. And it's stolen by P.J. Henry. He runs down the floor with the layup. Not there. Tap back up there by Walker for two. Walker has seven points in the ball game. Alcorn trailing by six. 40 to 34. 13 minutes and 26 seconds to play. Here's Josh with the 17 foot jump shot. Spins out. Rebound by Nicholas for Texas Southern. To P.J. Henry. He walks it across the timeline from right to left. 13 10 to play. Inside, Nicholas with his rebound shot. Oh, this is all going to the ball game. They, they got to settle down right now. All going has to settle down. 42 34 score. Check the settlement. He's on for the ball. The Braves is Joshua. You know, PJ Henry with the left. They're going to score it or what? No. They didn't score it. They don't put it over. Yeah. Three minutes, 48 seconds to play in the ball game. Eight-point lead for Texas Southern. Kim are going to check back on the floor. We're going to check in. We're going out. And it's been largest lead of the game, and uh, right now all corners got to they got to settle down. See, in basketball, you play with emotion. You cannot be emotional on the floor. Here's Kendall bagging in on Nicholas, and he turns. He that's playing emotional. Okay. He's emotional. Okay. Kendall with the foul. His second foul. Five team fouls on the Alcorn, three on Texas Southern. Alcorn picking up the foul the second half. Uh, Texas Southern picked them up the first half. And right now, old momentum is, is in Texas Southern favor. Hmm? Yes, it is. Bronze going to trick the inbound pass. Bronze looking in, throws it in. Catch a timeline. Front court. Gillum gets it back. Gillum turns. Turns across the floor. Mortal outside. Gillum looking inside. Not there. Lobs it outside. Barnes. Barnes stabbing, trying to get inside on Walker. Mortal with the floater in the paint for Tannen. Ain't no 10 point lead for Texas Southern. 44 34. Texas Southern, number 17, uh, number 17. Ball knocked away, stolen by Walker. No look pass. Nicholas inside, not there. Back up by Barnes for two. He has 12. Time up. Texas Southern, run away with it. 46, 34. Three-point ball game. To come back. Texas Southern 46, Alcorn 34. Much, much more. It is our endeavor to keep the community informed, enlightened, encouraged, and entertained. Our continued existence is solely predicated on those who donate toward our cause. The opportunity to give is a very simple process. You can visit our Open Mic Broadcast Network site at obnradio.com. 
click on the PayPal button and become a supporter today. For those of you who would prefer to send in a donation, make all checks payable to Open Mic Broadcast Network, O-P-E-N, capital M-I-C, Broadcast Network, P.O. Box 891, Prairie View, Texas, 77446. Thank you for your support. Thank you for spreading the word on the Open Mic Broadcast Network, serving the community through faith and athletics, the voice of student athletics since 2002. Texas Southern, 46, Alcorn, 34. 11.52 to play in the basketball game. Coach, what is going on? Well, right now, Texas Southern is playing their brand of basketball. Alcorn State is too emotional on the floor. And they're, they're, uh, they're worried about fouls. The game has been physical since the beginning. So they got to get adjusted. Coming across the timeline, out top, Josh, back on the floor for Alcorn. Picked it outside by Gillum on the left wing. Throws it down inside to Kendall. Kendall going, spin. And he lost the basketball because he's trapped. He's too emotional right now. And he's turning the ball over. Yeah, the timeout. That's what he's doing. Texas Southern, 46. All corn, 34 with 11 minutes and 42 seconds to play in this ball game. The Southwestern Athletic Conference, also known as the SPAC, has become one of the leading sports associations in the world of collegiate athletic students. Founded in 1920 by C.J. Fuller, Ryan Randolph, Kate Tyson, C.J. Evans, H.J. Evans, H.J. Starnes, D.C. Fuller, and G. Wood Jordan, the SPAC's charter class, the Super Six, takes off with Bishop College, Paul Quinn College, Prairie A&M, Sam Hudson College, Texas College, and Wiley College. The founders came up with the league during a general meeting to discuss common interests as a grand experiment for historically black colleges and universities, or HBCUs. The SWAC's member schools experienced many difficulties in its early years due to the limitations of state funding, but the SWAC never stopped sponsoring competition among its members and student athletes. Though only one of the original members of the SWAC still remains, the SWAC continues to rise in prominence among the best in collegiate sports. The SWAC is one of only two Division I conferences whose current membership is made up of 100% HBCUs. Its current members include the last remaining charter member, Prairie A&M, and others like Southern University, Texas Southern University, Grambling State University, Jackson State University, Alcorn State University, Mississippi Valley State University, Alabama State University, University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, Alabama A&M University. Florida A&M University and Bethune-Cookman University championship competition offered by the league currently includes men's competition in baseball, basketball, cross country, football, golf, tennis, and indoor and outdoor track and field. Women's competition is also offered in basketball, bowling, cross country, golf, indoor and outdoor track and field, soccer, softball, tennis, and volleyball. The SWAC continues to solidify its status among elite collegiate competition with notable NCAA tournament appearances in multiple sports. The SWAC is considered one of the premier HBCU conferences in the country and currently ranks among the elite in the nation in terms of HBCU alumni playing with professional sports teams. Notable professional HBCU and SWAC alumni athletes include Walter Payton, Jackie Slater, Jerry Rice, John Stallworth, Steve McNair, Michael Strahan, Titus Howard, Tadaro Hodge, and many more. 46, 34. Nicholas Tabarnes. In the left corner, 
Walker, Trying to get around Montgomery. And Montgomery with a foul. Right. <laughs> Montgomery picks up his second foul. Eleven eighteen to play. Walker to the foul line to appreciate the come over until take a dozen players sit, sit, yep, sit down. Yeah, yep. sit down. That's good. Walker with that free throw. He gets another one. Jaron Walker the third. Has his 11 point for the night. And it is still a very physical game in there in that paint. Good two for a triple walker. Why did he fall down the free throw line? Well, <laughs> he boxed him out. Oh, did they? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 14 point lead for. 11 on 7 to play. I think I never seen that before, Coach. Right. Oh, oh, it happened. They kind of boxed out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they they they, uh, they boxed that shooter, that free throw shooter out. Really? Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. 48, 34 score. Texas Southern leading with the basketball. I'll corner, turn the ball over the last three times. Wow. Fitz Gillum right side gets the ball to Barnes. Barnes outside, Nicholas got up by Montgomery, moves in to Montgomery for the lead. Got it. Boy, they can't, they can't guard take the other now. Yeah, they're tough. Yeah. Very, very crucial point in the game for all four. Very. They smell blood in the water. They're 16 points. Inside. Won't go. They won't count. No, they're not counting that. That's going to be on out of bounds. Okay. Bruma threw the inbound pass. Bruton looking in. Walker out. Throws it out of top. Jump catch by Kendall. Gives it back to the point guard. Joshua guarded by Gillum. Pounds it against the floor. Bags away. Going back to the right side. Looking. Trying to get inside. Kendall for the bracket. Got by Josh, shoots it from the left wing. Two point shot won't go. And a foul call. Offensive foul on Texas. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's going to hurt right there. Yeah, that's that was four. Nicholas. That's yeah. Nicholas four or five. Yeah. So nine thirty nine to play. You're six. Fourteen point lead for Texas Southern. So now you go from six nine to six five. Now it's an 11 point ball game. Yep. 50 to 39. 927 to play. In the ball game. Texas Southern leading by 11. Here's Farouk. To Barnes. More than side. With the drop shot. One. He went to the hole with some authority. Double pumped it and moved it and dunked it. Yeah, he went to some Joshua down the floor. They're going to get Joshua for that. TJ Henry on the foul. TJ yeah, Henry on the foul. That's a one and one. No, he was shooting. That's two shots. 
Josh with the strike. Here's a free throw. Crawls in for him. Hit the front end and then jumped in. Good. That dog shot had more of the He went in there. He in there. With some authority, that and would it and would it be in the ESPN game? It might be top team. I'm telling you, yeah, I'm telling you, that was a dunk that time. Yeah, he went in there with some authority that time. Well, not to be denied, moved in field. and dunked Both it. free throws were made. Eleven point ball game, fifty two forty one, nine oh two to play. Ball deflected, stolen by Walker. His war away spinning. McCorder, outside, Josh, a three-point shot, no good. Rebound, Mortar, he's foul. Foul wow. call on McCorder. Yep. That's a one-and-one. One. That's a big big foul for all corners. That's his fourth foul. Mm-hmm. Yep, they stole the ball and didn't get nothing out of it. 8-4 to 7 to play in the ballgame. Texas Southern 52. Alcorn 41. Kendall will check in. Gruden back in. This Alcorn team won't quit, though. Oh, no. Uh, no, no it's no quit in them. There's no quit in them. No no them. No no oh, They're going to play hard until the buzzer sounds. Here's a free throw. Not there. Mortal. Here's Joshua at the floor. Swing to right side of the floor. Shot by Walker. No good. Rebound. Has some problem with that crust. Seven fifty-five to play. All corn down by six. Fifty-two forty-six. Here's P.J. Henry. Kicks his dribble up. Goes to Barnes. He's on the floor. Here's yeah, no, Joshua. No, no. Joshua down the floor. Inside for the lift. Two. Wow. Joshua. And the hell come on, Corn. Full point ball game. They said we ain't the tip. We ain't the number one team for nothing. We is on the way back. Yep, there was a, that timeout came one possession too late. Okay. Yep, they should have gotten that timeout earlier to try to break their momentum. Right now, old Mo has jumped back over the all corner side. What is, what is all corner? What did all corner do to kind of turn to get back in? Down by clever one corner. Right. They put they, pressure on them. Pressure, pressure. Right. Pressure. Right. They turned up the defensive intensity. Pressure, bust a fight. Yep. They did 52 48 score. See, what win your game is your defense. If you play good defense, you stop the team from scoring. You always got 10. 7.36 left to play here. All corners down by 12, now down by 4. 52 48. This is the last ball game of the night, but right back here in a few hours, Coach. Right, that that's true. And one of the other things that's hurt uh, Texas Southern, when Nooker's got that four foul, see, he needs to be on the floor. He's a stabilizer on the back line, and he, he took a jammer on the other end and got that picked up that four foul, and, they, and ever since he's been out of the game, they've made that run. Gotcha. In earlier action, Arkansas Pam up today, in the first game of today, over... Alabama A&M women basketball team. Next game, men game, is Grambling State University over the film Cookman and Jackson State women before this ball game defeated Grambling in a good ball game. And that was a one in AC. This is a one in AC. And AC right now are leading in the ball game. Yeah, boy, you got you got uh, Texas Southern. In a sp- in a in a buzz now. They don't know which way to go. They out there arguing, mom, each other. 
They don't know what to do right now. They have no clue. 52, 48. A lot of time to go. We'll see what happens here. That's going to unfold. Check this out. we get the basketball. That's the call in a timeout. Ranger. Ranger looking in. Throws it in. Alcorn pressing. Here's P.J. Henry. Mortal front court. Throws it in the left corner. Here's Walker. Walker. Outside. P.J. Henry. Thought about the shot. Was really deep. Going to bring the ball back. Checked on the outside. Now, here's Barnes. Barnes. P.J. Henry, corner shot. Not there. Rebound, Kendall for Alcorn. Alcorn. Now he's been way up on him, buddy. And inside, he's going down to the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> No good. He's on the point now. He's just right on the floor. Wade. Wade on the dribble. Trying to get inside. Head and knocked away. PJ Henry with it. Down the floor. Actually, that was up to come to the ball game for Alcorn. So is Joshua. Here's a free throw. Here Here he here. Said, that ain't no problem for me. I knocked these free throws down. It's a 3-4-8. Five-point ball game now for Texas Southern. Then he gets it back, trying to push back to a six-point ball game. Anyway. Got it. Nothing but straight now, Long. Up the floor from left to right. Six four to one to play. Texas Southern leading. Here's Joshua. Joshua on the dribble, trying to get inside. Puts it right side of the floor. Keep it out If I was on the sideline, I, I would be a little skeptical about having a in the game. You got five tickles. I think so. For offense and offense for defense. And Bruton is out of the ball game now. It's going to get thrown back to the side again. Trying to cut to a four point ball game again. Right now it's 54 49. That's be good. Make both of them. With the score, take seven fifty-four. Alcorn fifty. Alcorn pressing his motor front court. Oh yeah, make him turn it over again. Mm-hmm. Well, Alcorn yeah, to turn up the pressure now. Yeah, he left his seat. Yeah, boy. That's why you don't you don't leave your feet on the pad. Yeah, pressure make you leave your feet though. That's what did it. The pressure. Thorn throws it. Inbound, going to get it back from Joshua. And then, of course, it's fine from left to right. Who's that, Joshua? Joshua. Got it back in here. Two little spins. 
you look at the side back here, that's on the other side, in fact, the basketball. He proved the court of jump shot in the That's the last time. Why is that, Joshua? Come on, love this thing. What was it? Come on, girly, yeah. I don't know about that now. If I was Texas Southern, I'd be upset with that. Okay. You, you stop playing so he can put his shoe back on? No. Went to a dead ball. Joshua outside of the dribble, trying to get inside again. Across the floor. Oh, way. Going through it away, trying to get the ball across to Walker. A full point ball game still. Wade would check in. McCord would check in. Root out. And Kendall out. Mortal on the floor for Texas Southern, facing pressure. Mortal gets the pass from P.J. Henry. Coming across the timeline. Here's P.J. Henry. Inside. Got it. One with the bucket for two. Good recognition by Henry. Six-point ball game. 56 Texas Southern, 50 Alcorn. Down the floor. Joshua. Joshua trying to get inside. Inside, shot won't go. Missed shot this time inside. Well, Joshua, he's been playing well. 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 Okay. He's been six. He's been playing well. 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 Watch Henry. Henry working. Trying to get inside in the corner. Spinning. Back inside. information when it comes to HBCU athletics and tune in to listen to the Swag Zone each Saturday morning. The Open Mic Broadcast Network covers Little League, high school, and college athletics. It also broadcasts local community parades and events. And you can check us out on YouTube for our latest content. If you would like to help us support our broadcast, you may do so by making a donation at www.obnradio.com. We are the station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, where we are serving the community through faith and athletics since 2002. 58, 58 Texas Southern, 52 All Coin. Four minutes, 11 seconds left to play in this one. Coach going on the stretch for the final 4-11, what you expect? <laughs> I said before this game came on, this was going to be an excellent game. Yeah, we, we should have Probably quit. the best game in the whole swag team. Coach, yeah, yeah, we're, we're seeing a great uh, basketball game, and I expect both teams to compete until that final buzzer. 
There's really not going to be any let up in this game. They're really going after it. And, and you're, looking at, you're looking for mismatches, and right now all corners found one. They think they can exploit Henry, and they're doing that. Texas Southern facing pressure. P.J. Henry has the ball, followed by Wade. Front court, Walker has it. Spin, double team on the sideline. Throws it back to P.J. Henry. How about the timeline? Got it by Wade. Picks a dribble up. Ball stepped away by Wade, but Henry gets it back. He comes back across the timeline with eight to shoot. Henry leans inside. Shoots it up. Not there. Rebound. Barnes. Not there. Tap back up by Walker. Not there. Rebound. McCorder for Alcorn. Inside Joshua. Lost the ball. Walker with it. In traffic, foul call. And that is the next foul. He'll be shooting two, sir. We have three minutes and ten seconds in the ball game. Well, the point is 68, Texas, and 52. Here's a free throw by Barnes. It's good. Last four sixteen was called by one of the coaches. Why is why is it not a media timeout now? On the four. Got you. Here's Barnes. Second shot coming up. Not no there. Good. Rebound Kendall for Alcorn. To Joshua. Joshua across the stride with the ball. Joshua pounds it against the floor. Joshua outside throwing. Throwing to Kendo. Kendo trying to get around. Nicholas hooks it up for two. Kendo with that shot. Hook shot for two. Kendo has 10 points in the game. Five point contest. 59 54. 239 to play. Ball knocked away. Stolen by Joshua. Joshua inside with the layup. Good. Wow. Joshua's Joshua taking over this game. He is a three point ball game now. Yeah. Yeah. Joshua's taking over play. this game. Yes, he is. Byron Joshua, 5'11, 165 pound sophomore from New Orleans. Believe he can't be stopped. And I'm talking about he going to the rim every time. Regardless of who's inside. No Guard, who, forward, no matter who there. Just at all. Alcorn pressing full court. Texas Southern at the ball. His Granger coming up the floor against Joshua. Wow! Going to pressure the ball. Stolen. Down inside. He's a gun shot. Wow. Thorn. Think back to what I told you earlier. Boy, <laughs> when he came in the game. Okay. I would be skeptical by having him on the floor. That's too many turnovers. Okay. That's six turnovers. All come by oh, one. Every time they play. That's a big advantage. Texas Southern 61, all point 58. 
What a game, ladies and gentlemen. Coach, what a game. It's going to come down to free throw shooting down the stretch. And right now, Texas Southern is 15 out of 20. Alcorn is 13 out of 17. Free throw shooting is going to be key coming down the stretch. Kim on the stick, giving Alcorn an opportunity. Has been Josh, the impact player, not only on offense, but on defense as well. Right, right. Yeah, he's been on both ends. Alcorn gets the basketball down by three. 61 Texas Southern, 58 Alcorn, a minute 55 seconds to play in the ball game. Here's Joshua. Joshua. We let it roll across the mid-court line. He picks it up. Now, 9 o'clock to start. Joshua outside. Kendall. Kendall guarded by Walker. Trying to get inside on Walker. Throws it up inside. Not there. Texas Southern with the ball. Here's P.J. in the front court. Going to break this ball into the front court. Texas Southern will. And you're going to yo-yo the ball outside by the timeline. Picked up outside by Joshua. Kind of want some clock down here. Right. They're taking the game down. They're taking it down. Smart move. Minute 24 to play. 10 seconds to shoot. Big possession right here for Texas Southern. In Alcorn on defensively. Pull up shot. Got it. By P.J. Henry. Yep. Big shot. Big shot by him. But now here comes Joshua. Joshua, watch what he does. Joshua down the floor. Guarded by Henry. Shoots a three-point shot. <laughs> No, that's it bounced, Alcorn's ball. Yeah, it bounced out of uh, Texas. Oh, yeah, it went out of bounds. And we have a five-point contest. All it needed was a timeout on that one. You had Nichols with the ball, trying to make a play. Watch the play. Watching the clock here. Oh, they went back. They went back too far yeah. on that one. Yeah, they're looking at. Join us back here again tomorrow at 11 o'clock. For more swag basketball action. Big play on who it went out on. Very big. Earlier in the football game, it was today, it was Arkansas Pine Bluff women over Alabama A&M women. And in the men game, the second game of the day, it was Grambling State men over women. And uh, Jackson State women before this ball game defeated Grambling in the swag tournament. And right now, number one seed Alcorn against number eight seed Texas Southern. And Texas Southern up by five with 55.5 seconds to play. Now remember, the, the call was it's Alcorn's ball. They don't see enough evidence. That's going to be Alcorn's ball. It's okay. Alcorn ball anyway. Yeah. It, 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 it clearly went out on Texas Southern. That one wasn't hard to see. Facing on the left side, all can retrieve the inbound pass. Down by five. Looking in, Joshua got it. He's fouled. Wow. That's a two shot foul. That's, ten, that foul call that's on, a tenth team foul. That foul call on PJ Henry. And that's his four. What's big about that? The clock don't stop. That's his two four. Free throws. Okay. To, the foul line. to shoot two free throws is something with his eye. He's continuing to wipe it. I don't know if it's pressure ratio or did he get hit in it. Now with uh, four fouls on Henry, Joshua's going to attack him. Again. Right. Because Henry knows he does not want to foul out of his game. So he's going to do what? He's going to back up. Okay. And keep retreating. The count is on. That's it. Good. Good. Fifty-nine, sixty-three, with fifty-three point three seconds to play in this ball game. 
he ain't been holding that ball for a long time. The official didn't see was counting it, too. Back to the stripe again. He started wiping his eye for P.J. Henry. That's good again. Two for two to the foul line. Jump catch Barnes. Barnes trying to get inside. And the lift by Nicholas McCoo. That drive of winning is right there. A five point bugging again. Josh, the top of the circle. No, Trying to get inside. Feeds it inside in the quarter for two. Cam out. All coin. 65. seconds to play in the ball game. With 65 Texas Southern, 62 all coin. Coach, do you foul here? What you got to do? Well, you got no other time. You got to foul. You got to foul. Yeah, you have to go for the field first. You, you, you play for the field first, then, yeah, you're going to have to put somebody on that line. Okay. No, Texas Southern is, is only for eight in eight C because they get up to a turf star. You didn't yeah, have Henry. They had players. They had players that were hurt. Henry. To me, Henry was the key. This would be a different ball club. They would not be an eight team. This is the point I was trying to make. Right, right. Yeah. But I think I think it's more I think it's more so because Henry was not there. Okay. He he set the table for them. Okay. And he's a big key. And, and and I promise you, when 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 Coach Jones told me before the game that he was playing, I knew A and M was in trouble. Okay. 65-62. In the bottom of all, P.J. Henry. Henry spins. Top. On the baseline. Long pass up the floor. Walker with it. Now Walker's foul. Foul call on Wade. Not yeah, but they let a lot of stuff oh, get off the clock. They the foul early. 11 seconds. He's the right person to foul because he's only 67. Got two of them, though. Walker. It's a strike. He's four out of five tonight. Free throws up. Good. They could have made that free throw. But that'll win the game, yeah. So, they ain't got enough time to have no two plays. 66. 62. Yeah, that'll do it, then. Two possession game. Yeah, that'll do it right there. Gets it back. Deep breath out of the basket all the way. Here's a free throw. Miss Short it. on that one. Down the floor. Boom. Outside. Wasting a lot of time. Yep, and got it. yep that's the ball game. Probably going to steal it back. That'll do it. Looking. Time going to run down. Off going to steal it. And he's going to get the shot off, but it will not go. Texas Southern beat out for him last year, and they end up this year beating. Texas Southern win it by a score of 66 to 62. Surprise, Coach, no surprise. Well, I, I knew it was going to be a tough, it was a tough draw when I saw the pair. And I mentioned it Saturday. Saturday, Saturday on the broadcast, I told him that this is going to be a tough it's going to be a tough game for them and uh, because Texas Southern was just getting healthy toward the end, the, the, the end of the season. And they can play, man. They got players. They can play. They got oh, experience. Yeah. They got yeah. championship DNA. Okay. You think about this now. You got kids on that team that have won championships. Welcome to the season. 
Yeah, and they got some Chris coming back to talk about oh, yeah, Joshua. They, they'll be Drew. right back next year. Drew, yeah. sophomore, yeah, they Joshua, got, sophomore. They got a young team. So they'll be right here again next year trying to win uh, again. That's going to do for this broadcast. For Coach Pettaway, Joshua Davis, I am Lynn Hart and Matt and you. If you play the sport or if you like the sport, for the kids, they think they're good sports. Good night. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow. Tip off at 11. Another night of basketball, another day of basketball. Day through the strike trying to come up tomorrow on the Open Night Broadcast Network. I'm <laughs> sorry.